If you're a videographer and you're thinking about should I work with premium clients or low budget clients, then this video is for you because it's sometimes not that obvious. In this video, I'm going to go through all the pros and cons of premium clients and low budget clients so you can make a sound decision on who you want to work with. My name is Nick Metzger and for the past six years, I've been growing my own video agency to forty to fifty thousand dollars per month consistently and today I help videographers just like you make more money. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you got to understand is a premium client is not necessarily a better client because money is a very neutral thing. I mean, you can be a rich person and be a very, very good person, but you can also be rich and a freaking ass but the same goes for poor people. All right, but let's look at premium clients, who they are and what they do exactly. So premium clients are most often bigger companies. They're either corporations or like medium sized companies as well that actually produce money and that have money. And that's actually already the first pro they have generally more money. They're used to bigger projects. And the cool thing is they're used to be working with contractors, with vendors like you. And it's not like th this is their first time doing something like this. So therefore, most often they also accept the price because for them, if you charge them $10,000 for a video, it's like, yeah, okay, it's $10,000 for a video. It's not like that number is shocking to them. It's a pr fairly low number compared to the revenue that they're making right now. An additional benefit is that they're typically very trustworthy and they pay on time, okay? They have their internal processes and it might take a bit longer to pay something, but if you give them a 20 to 30 days notice to pay the invoice, it's typically always gonna be paid on time. And in addition to that, they're used to contracts. So it's no problem to send that over, they get it signed and you're ready to get started on the project. But there are also a couple cons with premium clients because typically they're bigger, that means more people are involved in the project and therefore they have a way longer decision making process. And this is a crucial thing. If you do not coordinate the project well and you have one contact person that gathers all the feedback from their internal team, from everybody who has to say something, then you're gonna have a problem in the revision rounds because you're gonna send the video over the first draft then the person gives you feedback, then another one gives you feedback, then another one gives you feedback, another one gives you feedback and it's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna be very annoying. So when you working with a premium client, you got to make sure that you have one contact person and this person gathers all the feedback from the decision makers and then they give you pretty much collected feedback, which allows you to be very, very efficient. Lower budget clients, on the other hand, are typically small companies or even solopreneurs or can be a bigger company that has no experience with marketing and video at all. An example, a construction company, right? They're not used to do modern marketing yet. They're not used to do digital marketing. They're not used to, to use videos in their marketing strategy. So therefore, it could be in a lot of times that somebody in the construction niche is a first timer and therefore very inexperienced, not used to the prices, not used to the workflows and doesn't know shit about how to do such a project. In example, just recently I had a company reach out to us and they were like, yeah, we need uh, three videos done and um, we have a couple goals that we want to achieve for the first two videos. We want to recruit new people and then the third video should be like a corporate video, a mission video that pretty much shows everybody or tells everybody the story of our company and, and the traditions that we have and the family and the employees and so on. And I said, yeah, that sounds really cool. We want to do that. So what is your budget? And that person, the only marketing manager told me, well, um, we don't really have a budget. So I asked them, well, so did you ask any other agencies? And they said, yes. And I asked them, okay, cool. What did they quote you? And she said, well, um, I just recently got a quote from one of the video production companies and, and I will never be able to get the budget for that approved. So I asked them, okay, so what is, what was the budget? What was, what was the quote? And she said, $8,000 and I asked them for three videos. And she said, yes. So I told her, well, I'm sorry to say, but $8,000 for three videos is actually super low for us. The typical amount that is needed to be even working with us is $10,000. And she was shocked. She was like, what? How can somebody charge so much for a video? And that is just because they're inexperienced, haven't done video work before. But let's get into the list of the pros of a low budget client. Because they're smaller, you typically speak directly to the decision maker and therefore the decision making process is very, very fast and you can actually get to work very, very soon. In addition to that, since you're most likely talking to the owner of the business, the video is gonna have a big impact on his or her life, right? Because if their business succeeds, they succeed. If their business makes money, they make money. For big corporations, that's not the same. If a big corporation makes money, well, the marketing manager that it 
you're talking to doesn't really give a shit. And because you have such an impact on the owner's life or the CEO's life or whoever it is, what's going to happen is they appreciate you way more if you deliver a great result. But there are obviously also cons to this. The first con is obviously they do have access to less money and therefore they most often want to negotiate, want a discount, ask you what you can do with the price to make it a little bit cheaper just because they're not used to these numbers and it's a big investment to them. Then because they're not used to this, they're not used to the process, they're not used to such projects, they might be scared of a contract but you always must sign a contract with your clients because otherwise it's not clear what's to expect from both sides. Then what I also hear a lot from our Video Business Academy students is that low budget clients don't pay their invoices on time. So you must be aware that it can be that a, a low budget client doesn't pay or has fear to pay, right? Because they think, well, is that it? Will that video work? So they don't pay the invoice and then you pretty much remind them and they don't have time. Just be aware of that process. And as the last con, but this can also happen with a premium client technically, but the low budget clients tend to be more control freaks, okay? They wanna be informed about every single step that's gonna happen and it's obvious why that is because they for them it's a big amount of money that they're investing to them it's very emotional to do such a project and therefore they want to be informed so just make sure that you inform them about every single step and they feel like they're in control of the process so i think it's pretty obvious they both have advantages and disadvantages and ultimately it comes down to what type of production do you want to do what type of money do you want to make i personally work with both I had clients approach me, a candy company that said, hey, are you willing to do a video for a bag of candy? And I had clients approach me that paid me $70,000 for a video. So I've done both. I prefer premium clients, but it's up to you what you want to choose. And if you want to choose premium clients and if you want to make more than $10,000 per month, then I might have something that is of interest to you because I run the Video Business Academy coaching program, which helps videographers just like you build up their business, grow their business to over $10,000 per month in three to six months. And we even have a 100% success guarantee. So if you want to know more about this, then there's a link below in the description to a short video that you can watch. You learn everything about it. And if you're interested, go sign up.